Hi everyone, my name is Arturo Lopez, I'm the host of the Spricasso Show. Today, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you guys all the different stuff that I use before I begin spray painting. Now, if you spray paint as much as I do, you may want to invest on a spray paint mask. Something like this, make sure it has filters on the sides. And, it's also very important to protect your clothes. So, you may want to invest on an overall. You can get these at any hardware store, maybe even Walmart. And they're really easy to put. You just put them on top of your clothes. So I'm sure you, most of you guys already know. <clears throat> well, now you guys saw me do the hop. Anyways, I'm infamous for that. Make sure, like I said, your mask has filters on the sides. Make sure you have your spray paints. I have one of every color. Uh, I do have some baby blues, pinks, purples. They're available if I need them. Most of the time you'll see me using just the, the regular colors. Planet stencils. Very important to create your, your uh, planets. My Spray Castle tools. Spray Castle funnel. And straight edges. Big one comes in very handy for uh, bigger paintings, of course. Smaller details. And, I don't know, what do you guys think? We can do a foam board painting. Or a regular poster board painting. I think I'll go with the regular poster board painting. So, remember guys, that it has to be really glossy. Usually, one side is matted and one side is glossy. Use the glossy side. It works better than the matted side. Okay. So uh, we have a very special painting to do today. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. So if you guys are ready, grab your spray paints, put on your mask. Some purple. And we're going to add some orange to that. Just like so. And a little bit of yellow on top of that. Now, we'll blend it in with a little bit of blue. It will make it look like part of this guy. Alright, now with a magazine sheet, tear off a piece, just like so. And we're going to create a mountain. Now it's okay that you have some some colors, some greens and stuff. We'll add some white on top of that to make it snowy. Do that to several peaks. And we're going to blend those colors in. Nice. See how it's looking out? Okay. I use a little more over here. A little more over here. Great. Okay, maybe a little bit of white again. Just, just like so. Okay.
See that? Okay. Let's move on. Now then, we're going to create the water underneath it. Now with the straight edge, we're going to get some blue. Now notice how I'm leaving the white in the middle. That's okay. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow there in the middle. Maybe a touch of orange. Like so. And then I'm going to go back and add some more blue. So you should have something that looks like that. Awesome. Now we're going to tear off a piece of magazine. Just like so. Put a little bit of black. So, put this on and let's create some terrain. So, for terrain, I have an idea. We'll do something like this. Maybe something like this. Something like this. And something like this. See that so far? Okay, we'll add a little bit more. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add some tree life, some plant life. Okay, the way we do that, we're going to go ahead and set our trees here. We're going to do this throughout the painting. All I'm doing is just a magazine sheet holding it. Alright, now we've added our trees, some highlights. I do believe this painting is done. Spray Castle, 2008. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed this short tutorial. This is what it looks like. Alright, well, until next time, folks.